Hey, what is going on guys? It's Young here and today I'm back in our Fortnite video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the settings that you guys need to change based on the recent aim assist update. I'm going to be showing the three changes everybody needs to make to their settings immediately. That's going to help you guys out tremendously when it comes to hitting sh more shots close range, medium range, and also long range. So definitely stay to the end of the video because these settings are something everybody needs to change. And real quick, before we get into the video, up on the screen, I have the V-Buck giveaway winner of this week. I give away 2,000 V-Bucks every single Friday. So if you guys want to enter this giveaway, take part, and have a chance to win 2,000 free V-Bucks, all you guys have to do is to drop a like on this video. Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys do turn on those post notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video and we'll announce the giveaway winners. And lastly, make sure you guys do comment down below either your Xbox gamer tag, your PSN gamer tag, or Epic account, and you guys will be automatically entered into my next giveaway. So if you want some free V-Bucks, make sure you guys do enter. And also, if you guys like to support me in the Atom Shop, all you guys have to do is go down to the bottom, click on support a creator, type in my code, my creator code is Young Humor, and you guys will have me added and support as a creator and all right guys let's get right to the video all right so in this video i'm gonna show you guys the changes that you guys need to make that everybody needs to make to their sensitivity that's really gonna help them help them out a ton when it comes to hitting more shots in this game because as of the recent because epic games has really done quite a few things to aim assist within the last couple weeks and one of the things that they did as of i believe it was like two or three days ago the first thing is they nerfed close range aim assist they made it a little bit weaker it's not significantly weaker but it definitely is noticeable so with close range aim assist it definitely is a little bit weaker but they also did buff long range aim assist so they nerfed it close range and they buffed it long range so with that in mind there's a couple of things you guys want to change to your sensitivity that's really going to help you guys out hit way more shots when it comes to those close ranges and also when it comes to those long ranges as well something to note they did add a little bit more recoil when it comes to the ARs but it's not really a big of it it's not that big of a deal if you're within say a 30 to 60 meters from the other player with your AR you're not really going to notice it. it's not going to be that big of a deal and you're going to be hitting more shots than you were before even though there's a little bit more recoil and the only thing the the one counter to this that you can do and a very good tip that you guys can use when it comes to your ARs is when you shoot you do notice a little bit of recoil recoil off the start so what you can do is right when you go to shoot just hold down on your right analog stick a little bit because that's going to i guess counteract the recoil that you're going to have so if you notice when you shoot the ar and this pretty much only happens initially so as soon as you shoot your ar as soon as you shoot your first couple shots of your assault rifle your recoil goes up a little bit and then after you continue to shoot sh shots it pretty much stabilizes out it doesn't keep going up and up and up so that's one thing to keep in mind after the first couple shots of your ar it goes up just a little bit and then it levels out so as long as you keep in mind after your first few shots as long as you just hold down a little bit on your look analog stick so your right analog stick just hold it down just slightly at the start of shooting your ar and you're not going to have as much recoil and you're still going to be as accurate as you were before so that's just a quick tip and something i thought about when i was making this video and so now going to the settings that you guys should change that's going to make you as accurate as possible after this recent aim assist nerf slash buff and so as we see my edit and build, you can have it whatever you want, but that's just the settings I play on. So going down to my look and also vertical horizontal speed. Now, when it comes to this, like I mentioned earlier, they did nerf the close range aim assist. You want to play on a lower sensitivity than before. So when it comes to finding the right sensitivity for you, there's two things that you should do. First one, as my recommendations, I think the best sensitivity to play on after this recent update is going to be between 44 percent and also i would say 49 to 50 percent so in between 44 percent and 49 percent is going to be the absolute best x and y horizontal vertical sensitivity that you guys can play on because as i mentioned earlier they nerfed a little bit when it came to the close range so if you want to be very accurate and continue to hit a lot of shots i would recommend staying within this range now if you guys do like playing on higher sensitivities so you guys like 60 sensitivity 70 or you're one of those weirdos that play on max sensitivity which i do see from time to time what i would recommend doing is turning down your sensitivity two to three points so if you play on a 60 percent x and y sensitivity i would recommend lowering it to about a 
57 or maybe 58 percent and the reason why you should do this is as i mentioned earlier they did nerf close range a little bit which means the tracking close range when it comes to the aim assist is going to be slightly weaker and the way that you can kind of counteract this is just by lowering your sensitivity a little bit which is going to help stabilize your aim and allow you to hit way more shots close range so that's what i would recommend doing like my recommendations is, is between 44 and 49 percent but if you do like those higher sensitivities i would recommend lowering your sensitivity two to three points maybe a little bit more depending on if you feel like you want a little bit more aim so that's what i would recommend as far as my x and y sensitivity now for the aiming sensitivity i always recommend going on the low end i do play on 11 percent now but as i mentioned at the beginning as well they did give a buff to long range aim assist meaning that if you play on a low ADS sensitivity, you're going to be extremely, extremely accurate with your assault rifle. So I would even recommend maybe playing on a little bit lower X and or a little bit lower ADS sensitivity as well. Because like I just said, they did give a buff to long range aim assist. Now it's not like I'm talking cross map aim assist. I'm talking, I would say medium to just above medium range. You're going to find the most benefit out of aim assist. And I would say staying in between the ranges of 9% to 11%, maybe 12% is going to be the best ads sensitivity in the game and that's what i would recommend for all you players who are watching this video staying in between those ranges i think are going to be the best bet for hitting the most amount of shots with your assault rifle from ranges so that's my recommendations as far as those sensitivities and just going into the last part of my settings as far as look damping time up until the update i did play on a 0 0.06 look damping time but after the update, I feel like I didn't really need as much AR help. And that's some, something I really did like about look damping time. It can, it really did give me a little bit of a boost when it comes to hitting shots from range with my assault rifle. But I feel like after this update, I really didn't think it was necessary. So I don't play with it anymore. But if you guys really do look link, look damping time, if it helps you out hit your, hitting your shots. And if you are still struggling hitting shots from ranges, I would recommend putting on a little bit of a look damping time. I think that can give you some major benefit. And my dead zone are a a 10% and a 9% and then I have foot controller settings off which always want to have that setting off because it adds input delay to your controller so knowing the changes that they made to aim assist this really is a major advantage to controller players if you do know the right play style to have because I feel like the best play style to have and something to keep in mind as well is because when it comes to aim assist this is the true for linear and exponential the closer you get to the other player the more aim assist you have when it comes to hit firing your shots so since they did nerf the close range aim assist a little bit i think the best strategy to have is going to be playing extremely aggressive in those close quarter situations because the further you are away from the other player the less aim assist you have plus on top of that the little bit of nerf that they added to the aim assist so it could be a struggle if you're like a box length away from the other player you could be struggling to hit your shots consistently on a hip fire so i would recommend if you are close to the other player playing extremely aggressive w king grabbing that minigun grabbing that drum gun and then just going crazy on him that's what i would recommend doing now as far as your assault rifle i think if you're i would say i would try to stay within the ranges of 30 to 60 meters with your assault rifle because if you're too far away from the other player even though if you have good tracking you're still going to be missing a lot of shots because of bloom but if you're within those 30 to 60 meter ranges with your assault rifle kind of the ranges which i'm standing at right now maybe this is a little bit closer but you are going to be extremely accurate you're going to be beaming other players and i would say yeah the range is right here maybe just a little bit further back as well you can absolutely beam with your assault rifle you're going to be hitting shot for shot especially after the update where they buff the aim assist on long ranges you're going to be extremely accurate hitting a lot more shots so that's what i would recommend i think it's really important that for assault rifles if you stay at that medium range you're going to be hitting every shot and for your smgs if you are close to the other player i would recommend playing as close to the other player as possible so you get as much aim assist as you possibly can so you can hit as many shots and win the gunfight uh, fairly easily but with that being said that's wrap it for this video if you guys enjoyed this video if you found this video very helpful make sure you guys hit that like button make sure you guys definitely subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already make sure you guys do turn on post notifications so you guys get notified for every single new video and as well i do live stream every single day here on this channel at six o'clock eastern standard time so if you guys haven't came by my live streams or just forgot when i stream i stream every single day here six o'clock eastern standard time here on this channel but with that being said i appreciate you guys watching the video and all right guys i'll see you next video